All right, part two, Justin shrunk a little bit. So where we left off, we were in hero's pose. I'm about to go into the fire section. So just sitting quietly, bringing your spine straight and connected back into Brahma Mudra. Just taking in one more deep breath. Settling back in. So we're gonna breathe in and reach the hands up. Reaching all the way up, fingertips wide. Take a second, tilt the head back. And then cactusing the arms, keeping the chin up. And then as you contract into the heart, looking straight, and then slowly coming forward, bringing the hands onto the mat. We're gonna walk the hands forward. Come on, Ellie, you wanna come forward? Yep, good girl. Come forward. And we're gonna raise the hips up into downward facing dog. Just take a moment to stretch out and pedal out the feet. Shake the head out. We're gonna take the left foot, bring it up, open the hip. And then slowly bring the left foot in between the hands this time. And then bring the right foot off to the side, set up for warrior one. And then slowly start to rise up into warrior one pose. Same thing, fingertips real wide. How big are you, Aloe? So big! <laughs> Cactus the arms, exhaling out. Breathe and reach up. Exhale, cactusing down. And breathing and reaching up. First, clapping the hands together, then slowly bring them down to the lower back, back into Humble Warrior. Bring the crown of the head looking forward. Take a deep breath in, feel the stretching on the lower back. Exhaling out. Breathe in. Exhale, slowly bring the hands down to the mat. Take the left foot back, come to high plank. Hold for a second in your high plank, like a straight line. Slowly come down, tap the chest, rise up into upward facing dog. Chin up, flipping the toes into downward facing dog. Give yourself a second, shake the head out again. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Take the right foot now, raise it up. Opening the hip. Stepping it through in between the hands. Left foot off to the side. Slowly rising up into ah. warrior one. Can you make sure this is recording day? <laughs> Exhale, cactusing the arms down. Breathe in, reach up. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Exhale, cactus the arms down. Breathe in, reaching back up. Connecting the palms together. Then opening them up, slowly coming down. Hands to lower back. Coming down into Humble Warrior. Surrendering down. Breathe. Exhale, release. Breathe in. Exhale, slowly bring the hands down. Kick that foot back, come to high plank. Allow yourself to be in the high plank for a second, straighten the spine out. Slowly lowering down, tapping the chest, rise up. Chin up. This time look over to the left. <laughs> Look forward, then over to the right. Say hi to the gong. <laughs> Look forward. <laughs> Put the toes, come back into downward facing dog. Same thing, bringing the left foot up to the sky, bending the knee a little bit, then coming in, stepping it through. 
Bring the foot off to the side. This time we're opening up. We're going to do one fluid motion. So we come into warrior two. As we take a deep breath, bring the shoulders up. Relax them down. Flip the palm and reach back. As you're reaching back, straighten the front knee and stretch the left side all the way out. And then come into a triangle warrior two. So the knees are both straight and then lean forward and then coming down into triangle pose and then looking up toward the right hand. Take a deep breath. Exhale out. Deep breath in, coming back up. Triangle warrior two stance. Flip the palm, reach back again. Just come to the hand is straight up. Then pigeon toe the feet in. Come straight this way, facing the side wall. Bring the other hand up to meet. Connecting the palms together. Slowly coming down to the chest. And then take a deep breath into the heart. As you exhale, flatten the palms onto the solar plexus. Breathe in. Bring the hands down to the sacral. And then straightening the spine, hinging forward. Then bring your hands down to the mat. Lunge over to the right side. Bring the toes up toward the sky and then take their left hand and just bring it up and point the fingertips up toward the sky. Slowly bring that hand down. Did she really turn this thing? Come up and then over, shift over to the other side. Bring the left or the right hand pointed toward the right toes, then breathe in and reach it up. Slowly coming back down. Rising up, and then we're gonna hang forward. Shifting side to side. Hi, say hi. Say hi, Elmo. Breathe in, halfway. Bringing your hands onto your shins, looking forward, straight spine. Exhale, fold, reaching down for the ankles. Then we're gonna slowly rise up, bring the hands up the legs. Then up the torso, straighten out the crown of the head, straight toward the sky, bring it straight up. Then bring the hands down to the heart. Pivot the foot so you're facing forward, mini warrior one. Oh no, we got her. Breathe and reach the hands up. Slowly fold forward. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Halfway lift. Breathing in. Exhale, fold. Breathing in, reaching up. All the way. Reach out toward the sky. Bring the hands down to the heart. Take a deep breath into the heart. Slowly folding forward. Stepping the left foot back and off to the side. Setting up for warrior two. Come up and around. Land in the warrior two. Take a deep breath, shoulders up. And then down. Flipping the palm, reach back. As you're reaching back, straighten the knee. Stretch it all the way open. Keeping the knees straight, come into the warrior two stance, but in triangle, lean forward. So the fingertips are right over the front toes, then come down into triangle and look up toward the left hand. Deep breath, exhale out. Breathe in, coming back up. Fingertips wide, reach back again. This time the hand just comes straight up to the sky. And then pivot coming forward, bring the other hand up, connect the palms together, slowly come down to the heart. 
deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands onto the solar plexus, palms flat. Breathe in. Slowly lower down. You can even do Dhyana Mudra here. So you have like the raindrop over the sacral, breathe in. And then slowly hinging forward, let that drop of water come down to the mat. Flatten the hands. This time we're gonna walk toward the right, lift up, bringing the right hand all the way up. Slowly exhaling, moving with the breath. Breathe in, left hand up. Exhale, bring it down. Pushing your hands off. Slowly rising up. Deep breath in, reaching all the way up through the crown of the head, straight up. Pivot, so we're coming into Mini Warrior One. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly folding down. As you're folding, step the left foot forward to meet the right. And we're gonna slowly, one vertebrae at a time, rise up and just come into mountain pose so we roll the shoulders up and back. Opening up the heart space, grounding down through the feet. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And breathing in, reaching up. Looking up toward the sky, pulling energy down through the palms of the hands and the fingertips, capturing between the hands, bringing it down to the heart space. Take a deep breath in, opening up into the heart. Exhale, contracting the hands down into the heart. One more breath, breathe, open the palms just a little bit. Exhale, contracting. Now slowly opening up your eyes, grounding your feet down and getting your stance. Finding that drishti point straight out in front of you. Shift your weight over into the right foot. Slowly we're gonna lift the knee up toward the chest. And then kick the foot straight out. And then slowly kick it back. Extending into warrior three. Hold. Slowly fall forward into standing split. And then bring the left foot down and slowly rise up into mountain pose. Take a second, close your eyes, breathe. Exhale out. Getting heavy in the feet, breathe. Exhale out. Now breathing in, raising the hands up. Up toward the sky, pulling energy into the palms of the hands. Slowly bringing that energy down through the crown, third eye, throat, into the heart, shifting the weight over into the left foot, slowly opening up your eyes, find the drishti point. Bring the knee up into the chest, kick the foot out straight first, then slowly kicking it back, bending the knee, finding your stance, and then reaching out into warrior three. Hold. Slowly come down into standing split. Taking the foot up as high as you can. 
then bringing it down to meet the other, and then bending the knee, slowly coming down, and just hang out here for a moment and kind of stretch the toes out. See if you can even balance yourself on the toes and bring the hands straight out. Take a deep breath. Exhale out. Breathe in, reach the hands up. Balancing on the balls of the feet. Connecting down. If you wobble or fall, just catch yourself, it's okay. But what we were looking for is to bring the hands then down to seated. Coming straight out into butterfly pose. The hips should be a little more open now. So we're reaching down toward the feet. And then when you pull into the feet, it'll allow your shoulders to open and the, uh, the back to arch a little bit, opening up the heart, breathe in. And then exhale, just folding into butterfly pose. And just allow yourself to be here for a moment. Breathe and just listen. to come up and we're going to kick the feet out straight in front <coughs> take a deep breath reach your hands up <coughs> same thing just folding forward back straight you can bend the knees if you need to deep breath in relax into the pose Breathing and reaching the hands up. And then take the right foot and bring it in toward. So we're going to bring the hands down and grab that right foot. We're going to tuck it in. And then lay the knee as flat as we can. And we're going to take the, the left foot and bring it up and over the right for shoelace. Try and find some comfortability in this uncomfortable pose. You can bring the hands and if you'd like to, you can bring them onto the knee. Or you can bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, it doesn't matter. It, it just, you want to find that straight space with your feet being crossed over. So just close the eyes and try and relax all the muscles of the legs and the hips. Take a deep breath in. And just try and find some stillness here. the right hand and try and bring the right hand to the back and then take the uh, left elbow and bring it over and just kind of do a simple twist while you're too late. <laughs> that baby's crazy. Then coming forward. Bless you. Now instead of trying to do this with your feet, I pull with your hands and pull the knee up and over and make your way to front. Bring the feet straight out and step back a little bit. So then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the hands and we're going to reach down, grab that left foot, tuck it in. And then we're going to take the right foot and we're going to come up and around. It's okay that you're falling off your mat, so it doesn't matter. So then find that space so you can find your center. So a good way is to bring your hands to the heart and then feel where your center is. You can adjust the feet if you need to. And then if you want to bring your hands on to the knee, that's okay. But have straight posture, so your shoulders are straight. You can feel yourself yeah, seated yeah. down. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And relax the hips, 
Relax the body, relax the mind. Just be present with this moment. It's uncomfortable, just be okay with it. Just breathe through it. Take a deep breath in. As you're exhaling, take the left hand, bring it around to the back. Take the right elbow, bring it over here. Just simple twist. Looking over the left shoulder. And then breathe in, come to center. Now grab that knee and bring it up and over. Come out of the pose slowly. And then we're going to come forward and while we're in this kind of resting period, we're going to come in and do pigeon on each side. So we're going to come into the downward facing dog real quick. Take the right foot, bring it up, kick it out. And then coming in to pigeon, so the shin bone sideways behind the hands. Set it up, open up the heart. Chin up, then slowly come down onto the forearms, just surrendering down into prayer. Allow yourself to release anything you need to release emotionally, physically, mentally. Just releasing on the out breath. Slowly bringing the hands flat down onto the mat. Pushing your way up. You can keep the eyes closed if you'd like. Just bringing the hands flat down onto the mat. Chin up. Flipping the toes over on the left. Stepping back. Using downward dog as a transition. Just lifting up the left foot. Bringing it in. Shin bone sideways. Set up for pigeon on the opposite side. First chest open. Chin up. Breathing in. Slowly surrendering down into prayer on the opposite side. In this side we'll do receiving, so we're going to focus on the in-breath and bringing in fresh energy. We're coming back to the intention. Relaxing the shoulders. First, plant the hands down to the mat. Breathe in real deep. Open heart. Lean over to the left. Bring that right leg up and around. And we're gonna find ourselves seated back into meditation. So tucking the feet in, coming into lotus pose, and to use the bowl. So close your eyes and just kind of be here in this moment. Try not to focus on anything in particular and just give yourself a few breaths and just relax.
Be your breath in. Exhale, relaxing. And then bring the feet straight out in front of you. And we're going to flatten the left foot down and we're going to grab the right knee and then slowly lean back and tuck that knee in. And then take the left hand and grab the right knee and twist off for supine twist. Take a deep breath in, completely ring out. Breathe. And out. And hugging both knees in. Take a moment, rock side to side a little bit. Release pressure on the back. Then hugging the left knee in, bring the right foot down. And then twist it off. Supine twist, opposite side. Deep breath in. Full release. Breathe. And out. Hugging the knees into the chest. And then grabbing underneath the knees. We're going to bring the feet straight up toward the ceiling for waterfall. Just hold, point the heels toward the sky. Flatten the bottom of the feet out. Let your legs begin to shake a little bit. Release any of that energy of the lower spine. And keeping the hands flat down on your mat. Slowly lower down. Take a deep breath. Exhale, go a little lower. Breathe in. A little bit lower and then start to flutter kick. Just to kind of hold that space so you're not too much pressure on the core. We keep the kick going. And a little bit lower now. And a little bit lower now. A little bit lower now. A little bit lower now. All the way till you're almost at the ground. Then a little bit higher now. And a little bit higher. Slowly bring it all the way back up. Kick, kick, kick. All the way till you come all the way up, bring the feet together. Now feel how much you're shaking. <laughs> and then slowly bring the feet all the way down. And come into final resting. And when you're resting here, allow yourself to bring your palms facing up to receive. Allow the head to become still, relate, release any pressure of the neck and spine and shoulders. Take a deep breath. Closing the eyes, relaxing the jaw muscles. Let yourself fully relax and melt down into the mat and into earth below. Focus on the vibration up at the crown of the head. And channel into the third eye center. And then down into the throat. Maybe take a deep breath and hum. Then moving down into the beating of the heart. Feel your biological rhythm. Then down into the solar plexus. Feel the fire inside and the heat we generated during practice. And then lower down into the sacral, that cooling lunar energy. Breathing. And then down into 
earth. Notice each space of your body connected down to the floor, your mat, the vibration of earth. Just remain still. Listen to the sounds. yourself here in this space of peace, in this space of love that you have created here for yourself. Breathe that in. Exhale, begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Slowly breathing in and bringing the knees and hugging them into the chest. And then gently roll off onto your right side for infant's pose, keeping the eyes closed, placing the third eye center down onto the mat. And anything you need to let go of, release and leave it here. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe it out. Again, fully let go, breathe. 
Exhale, release it. Now breathing in, slowly come up into comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed, coming up into lotus pose. And bring the hands, fists together, down over the sacral for Brahma Mudra. Notice that space of peace and love that you created for yourself, that is that creating force of Brahma. Breathe in. Exhale out. Again, breathing in. And then as you exhale, bow, honor yourself, honor your creative energy, honor that light within yourself. And as we come up, we'll bring our palms together at the heart. Bow to each of us that are all in this together, doing this practice. Honor, love, and respect. And then breathe and reach up to the skies. Last time pulling energy, loving the universe and all that is above. And then exhale, bringing it down to the heart. Honoring and bringing love home to the heart and down to earth. May you all have peace of minds and love in your hearts. Thank you all for practicing and sharing this space. Namaste. <sighs> All right. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Wait. Where's my Where's my uh my partner in crime? Say bye, Allo. Say bye bye. We love you. Say bye, Mama. <laughs> See you guys. Love yous. Be safe.